Hello and welcome to how to use sculpting and UV mapping tools in the modeling mode of Unreal 5. So in Unreal Engine 5 you have the modeling mode and so and I've done a few videos before in the past covering some of the basics of this so by all means do check them out to learn a bit more about the modeling mode. But the thing we're looking at today is making use of this and its sculpting tools to create custom geometry. So first of all let's use some geometry have in mind. I'm going to bring in from the starter content this rock that we're all so familiar with. Okay and then I'm going to go back to my modeling mode and in here you've got scroll down the sculpting tools and oh there it is. Form you've got V sculpt and D sculpt. So for V sculpt is when you're just moving vertices around. Okay so we're using this we're just dragging out the existing vertices that are already there okay and that's all that's going on there obviously this can look a bit bad because uh, you're adding extra detail where there wasn't much detail to be used for so you can, you're just trying to make stuff out of nothing basically so I'm gonna undo that and use de sculpt instead now what is called is dynamic mesh sculpting and take a look at what this does instead now when I click on this and move you can see it's adding more vertices to the mesh add more detail so as i pull out i can then pull out different shapes as i see fit so i can take this rock and customize its look and appearance however i wish let's keep doing this and get something looking a very different shape okay so i'm going to do something a bit more a uh, bit more extreme here i'm just going to change the size of my brush and we're going to pull off a little bit here, change the fall off. Now, okay. Imagine that like, we're trying to do like a wall, for example. And as you can see, it's adding just more vertices based upon doing here. Um, wall shape coming out of here, or tentacle, whatever you want to call it. And now and bring this down here and I go back to V sculpt here and I can pull out more make it more uh, shaped like it originally was because the vertices aren't going to be added anymore this could be moved so I'm just going to bring that in here and so on and so forth okay. now all well and good you can create a custom shape however you like uh, but you do have an issue where if you were to say accept on this this does affect the UVs you know, we're getting this very stretched out looking texture, which can look a bit ugly. So that's where another tool comes in very handy. We can go over to the left hand side here, scroll right down and you'll find in the UV section, auto UV. Click on this and what it'll do is it'll remap the UVs and to its best it can do, uh, remap them to be more accurate. Now this works really well for more natural looking objects like rocks. Uh, because now you can see if I hit accept it's not as stretched out as it once was okay, it's vastly improved based upon this new model so I can use one model and one texture to create almost an infinite amount of different shapes and customize these assets to my liking and if I want to customize it further I just go back into my modeling mode or my deform and we'll deform it out I may want to push these ones down a bit Okay, and bring this one out. Wait this a little bit. Oh, dropped again. Okay. And do something a bit more extreme. Let's go it's out here. Yeah. A really crazy shape one and hit accept obviously looks really poor go down to auto uv again wait for it to do its job and you get a preview so basically these squares as long as they're looking square you're okay if they look stretched then it might look a bit bad but we hit accept there and we can see it looking a lot nicer than it was before the bar means check it out play with the other tools that you see in here too and see what else you can come up with using the modeling tools. 
you like this how-to and want to see more videos like this, head over to my patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can support me and get access to all my videos early before anyone else, plus some other benefits too. Thanks very much for watching, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Thank you.